Hey guys, Jonathan here, social media manager at MyTrix, and today we're gonna be showing a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your Asus ROG Ally. I know once you open up this box, there's a lot of concerns on how to just download games on it. It's a lot confusing compared to like the Steam Deck, but in my opinion, this is a lot better, a lot stronger than Steam Deck, but also, even though it comes with Windows 11 and it might seem a little scary, it's a lot more convenient if you wanna play games that are outside of Steam. If you have Xbox Game Pass, if you run, like running emulators like Yuzu Dolphin, or if you just like playing games that are web browser based, this console is gonna be the perfect one for you. So first, you turn on the console with this power button. The power button is right here, here at events. These are the uh, volume up and down buttons. This is where you plug in your charger and uh, the little mini SD card um, slot. Uh, first, you're gonna log in to your to your console. Once you start setting up, it'll ask you for a password. It'll start downloading Windows 11, but we're gonna skip a lot of that jazz. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your browser. Microsoft Edge is already installed, and you wanna type in into the search bar, download Steam. Okay. First link right here, Steam, the ultimate online game platform. It says store.steampower.com slash about slash download. You wanna click on that link. It's immediately gonna show you install Steam here. Once you click that, steamsetup.exe is already installed. You just open the file, hit yes. And right there, welcome to Steam Startup. All right, you just hit next. You click on your language, you hit next. Put the folder you would like to do it on and you hit install. I already have Steam installed. So I'm just gonna launch the I'm just gonna launch the program. Now you can sign in with your account name and password, or you can sign in with the QR code. I am going to choose to log in with uh, the account name. So once you're all logged in, it should look like this. You already signed in. And all you gotta do is go to library. Now you can choose between any of these games to download. Uh, this is like the list of my games. I'm just gonna choose like a pretty easy game that should have just a little bit of space, just a little bit of memory to download. Something real quick, just so we can show it. We're gonna choose Castle Crashers. Now, just to let you know, not all games are going to be available. Not all games are gonna be able to work with your Steam Deck or your Asus ROG Ally. Month to month, a lot of games are putting in functionality, uh, being able to allow it to be able to run on these mobile systems. So if your game isn't allowed, if your game doesn't work with it, don't worry, just be patient. And I'm sure the publisher would be able to get to it. So what we're gonna do is the game is now downloaded. We're going to launch it. I'm on Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't have any like Ethernet cable like plugged in. You can use like a third-party product that allows for like Ethernet connection, HDMI's, you know, extra USB C or USB A cables. So if you don't want to just straight up use the USB C cable uh, that comes here, you want to add a little bit more extra stuff. More than welcome to. All right, so. After downloading and installing the update, you're just gonna click on play. The game will launch in full screen mode. See, as you can see, it says it recommends a controller for this game. So, this is the start button. We have our A button, our B button, our Y, and our X. So, our, both of our control sticks here. And we even have a D pad if you like playing with D pad instead. So, lower the volume a little bit. Okay. All right, so I have played the game a little bit. Level three, Frost Knight. All right, so we're gonna go here. So as you can see here, everything works right out of the box. Okay, these are both the attack buttons. 
straight. We got our jump button here. And to, to dash, you just hold straight. Very easy to use. The Aces ROG is a system that is, in my opinion, pretty superior to the stream deck. Here's some gameplay of uh, Castle Crashers. All right, well, I died. All right, so if you want to quit out the game, hit start just like you would a regular controller, exit game, go to the main menu, and you just hit quit. You'll go right to straight to the Steam page, just like if you would if you're playing on any Windows uh, PC or laptop. And if you want to play any other game, just go to install, install the game, check if it has controller support. It's one of the most important things. As long as it has controller support, Steam input does a very good job at converting your controls uh, to whatever game that you're playing. And even if there's a game that doesn't offer Steam input, doesn't offer controller support. There's a lot of really nice community layouts that you're able to use to convert keyboard and mouse to controller. So on next video, we will be showing how to launch Xbox Game Pass on our Asus ROG Ally. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video proves very informational and helps you on your journey into the future of handheld gamings. Have a good one.